Cook with the Tints Institute. In this particular training video, which is a part of the Teaching Tint Whiz series, I'm going to specifically go over how to schedule an appointment. There's a lot of features and functionalities of the Tint Whiz software, um, specifically made for the window film industry. Um, if you haven't signed up already, you can go ahead and go to tintwiz.com. There's a sign up button right here in the top right corner, and you can get signed up for a 30 day free trial and there's no credit cards or any commitments so you definitely should check it out if you haven't already. Um, I have a dummy account already logged into right over here so I'm going to pop over there and this is what the dashboard looks like. As I mentioned, there's a lot of features of this software, and um, today we're gonna specifically go over how to schedule an appointment and the benefits of using this system for your scheduling. So right here on the main screen, you can see the schedule for the day on the left-hand side, and then you can see a map on the right-hand side. The map's particularly important for if you have a lot of installers out on jobs, you can organize and um, strategize how to make their travel most efficient. So on the left hand side here we have a couple appointments already input for the day and you can look at your calendar based on the actual installers. So for example right now I have all events selected but I could look at you know what appointments do I have just for Austin and what appointments do I have assigned to Michaela. So this will help you organize appointments for installers and then they can look at their particular calendar for the day and see what projects they're responsible for. And then you can also look at the calendar by type. So if you wanna look at all events, just consultations, installations, and so on. And then over here, you can sort down even further by um, appointment type. So is it a flat glass job? Is it an auto, in-house, or out-of-shop job? So it's just a great way to look at the schedule in different ways and get organized. So we've got two schedules or two appointments in here right now. I'm going to go ahead and schedule a new appointment so you guys can see what that looks like. So you're just going to hit schedule in the top right hand corner right here. Now you can either create a new project or you can choose a project that you've already input into the system, given the customer a quote on, but say they haven't moved forward um, with scheduling until this point in time. So for the purposes of this, you can see like I could start, you know, pulling up the estimate for Matt and go ahead and plug him in the calendar, or I can create a new project. We're gonna create a new project just so you can see what that looks like. And we're also gonna create a new contact. So say, you know, someone calls in for the first time, they liked your quote over the phone and they just wanna get scheduled for the appointment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put their first and last name in. Um, this is just an individual, so there's not gonna be a company associated. And um, we'll put in my number and we'll put in my email address just so some random person doesn't get the appointment reminder for this. And then you can put in a physical address if you'd like, but it's not necessary. Um, it does seem like a lot of information to put in while you're over the phone with someone, but you're going to collect this customer information anyways, so why not get it in your system, get organized, you can use this info later on for marketing as well. So we're going to go ahead and save the contact, and then I'm going to put in um, you know, what, what's the project type? So this is going to be an auto appointment and you can see it conveniently has these drop downs already. So, um, this one's going to be a BMW. It'll be a 320 and a 2019. They do have the option to put color, VIN, and license plate, um, which is particularly great, especially if you're doing a paint protection job um, where the color is gonna be really important or you're doing a really high volume and it'll be nice to see, okay, that's Evan driving in with the blue BMW. So this is gonna be an in-shop project, but again, if you were gonna do a mobile project, you'd wanna enter the address, and then that way you could quickly see you know, what appointments we have going on over here and where they're located in vicinity to your shop. Um, project name, we're not gonna include anything there. You can put a tag on it if you want. Um, this one, there's not gonna be a particular tag. 
And then down here, you can assign it to your installer. So this project's gonna be for Austin, and we'll go ahead and put them in for 2 p.m. And the duration is gonna be two and a half hours, and I really like, this is my favorite feature about the scheduling software is um, you can select to automatically notify the customer via text message and email. So we're definitely gonna leave that checked. This just eliminates no-shows and um, you can easily get your schedule booked and then be confident that those customers are getting reminders of their appointments. So we'll go ahead and confirm and submit. And then let's go back to the dashboard instead of looking at this is what Evan's account looks like it has you know the info we put in for him that he's got an upcoming installation but going back to the actual schedule so um we'll look right here and you can see Austin has this one appointment for the day from 2 to 4 30 if you clicked into it you could see the details and then um up here as I mentioned, you can sort the calendar by all events or just events for Austin or just for Michaela. So if we switch it to all events, you can now see my events as well in the calendar. So then you can do all events here as well. And you can see on the map right here that we have an out of shop appointment at 1230, um, which is this one right here and it shows the address and it's just nice, convenient, really easy to see. So then I also wanted to show you over here, um, I put my information in for the appointment just for convenience. Um, and I wanted to show you that I already got for a previous appointment I just scheduled, I already got an appointment reminder. It says appointment scheduled in the subject line and you can edit this template. Um, and you can modify the formatting as well. So this was for um, an appointment that I had scheduled for Kevin and he got an email saying, you know, we have you scheduled for an installation, the time, the date, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. It has the company's contact information if the customer weren't going to reschedule or if they had any questions. And um, it just has, you know, a nice, professional template and then I would also get a text message reminder as well so super great scheduling system um, like I said if you haven't checked the TintWiz software out highly recommend it and um, they do have that 30-day free trial I'll be doing more training videos just on individual pieces of the software and how to use them so we will look forward to seeing you on the next video